least one. There will probably be more, but at least one. Um, my thoughts are, I we have this great consignment shop for kids called Once Upon a Child. I know it's in several cities because I heard about it from a YouTuber who lives in Florida. And I was like, brilliant, let me see if there's one near me. There's three within decent driving distance. Um, this one is like 45 minutes from my house on a good day. Anyway, actually 30 minutes on a good day, 45 on an average day, an hour and a half on a bad day. Anyways, so, um, you can sell your clothes, and I know they don't take everything, and this and the third, fine, whatever, great, and I know that there's a lot of influx of people, um, trying to sell their clothes right now because of COVID and, uh, losing jobs and just being home and dealing with the clutter and all that, so I get all that, that is anyway. um, but let me tell you, I took in two small boxes, like a small Amazon, medium Amazon size box, and like a Parents' Choice wipes box, where you get like 1,200 wipes or whatever it is. You get like 12 packs of wipes or some crazy thing. Like, that's not that much, but it's a decent amount. They took 32 items. And gave me thirty dollars and like sixty-five cents back or some crap like that. Tell me, was that worth it for me? I think not. It was not worth it for me. Not one bit. Okay, let's start from the beginning. So I decided to jump down. I, it was like a thirty-minute drive today, which was really good. Um, and I dropped everything off, uh, it took about five minutes because they had to put me in the system because I've never dropped anything off before, I've only bought stuff from there before, um, and then we went to, first, my friend owns a coffee shop down there too, and I tried to ask her if she was working, but she never responded, um, so we drove down to the coffee shop, and I kind of looked in, but I didn't see her right away, and that's no excuse, I should have just gone in, but I also didn't eat coffee or anything, we had just had breakfast, so there wasn't really a, a point to go in at that point, and I was trying not to take my daughter in and out of the car too much, I should have just done it, doesn't matter, there was plenty of parking too, so that was like the opportune moment to go in, anyways, so I decided not to do that. That was like 10 minutes away. So I drove back to the area where Once Upon a Child and Bye Bye Baby were. And we went to Bye Bye Baby and we walked around there for a while. Um, and I found some really good things. I got some pouches 50% off. And there was a table of diaper bags that were up to 75% off and I got a $70 diaper bag which is, should be $70 but anyways $70 diaper bag for $14 Caitlin you need to stop buying diaper bags I'm obsessed with diaper bags guys obsessed I have we have four right now one that someone bought us because it was on our registry and that's the one I wanted and my husband doesn't like it because it's a backpack so he, of course, had to get his own diaper bag, and he got the tactical one, which I hate because it doesn't open wide enough, like front to back. It's a nice diaper bag, and it has really good compartments, but like, it's, it's that wide, front to back, and that does not, it doesn't expand at all. You need diaper bags to expand. Anyway, so I don't like this diaper bag. But then I found this backpack that, ba it's basically a backpack, um, but I love it. It's dark blue and it's just this normal. 
Bye, baby. Walked around for 20, 30 minutes or so. 